they probably won't go back to work after this, so putting the word out to everybody, don't talk too long. They want to get this cleaned up and moved on. But I thought it was appropriate to do it here in uh, Steinmetz Park in Goose Hill. Uh, Camille Sazanowski is here and uh, Christine Moore, the current president. Camille was the uh, president when I told her we're going to get the Wi-Fi network, we're going to get all this in Goose Hill. And yes, Camille, I'm sorry, it didn't happen quite as quick as I would have liked. But it has happened, and we uh, just uh, lit up some more access points uh, yesterday. Uh, there's more in the pipeline. We have approximately 240 access points, uh, and fiber optic backbone that runs throughout the city is part of our HCR CARES uh, CV grant. Uh, it's to provide something for everybody. It improves city services. It provides equity in terms of access to the internet for residents, uh, and it allows the delivery of options that we haven't necessarily seen before in terms of uh, healthcare, in terms of uh, gaming, in terms of research, and hopefully we're going to, uh, again, as we put this out, challenge people to find ways to use the resources and the investment that we're making to make our neighborhood stronger, to make our community uh, more livable, more exciting, and really a place that we're all proud of. It's part of the change that's happening in Schenectady. And I just want to acknowledge some of our uh, partners here. Uh, nice Tech, do we have a team there? George Soul Truck there. Uh, there's uh, Rebecca Atwell, the National Grid team. Thank you for those approvals for the access points and attachments to the polls. Grid has been a great partner in this. Uh, I think if you talk to Grid, they will say sometimes the city doesn't move quite as fast as they'd like. I will say sometimes Grid doesn't move quite as fast. But in whole, we're doing a pretty good job and people should be proud of that. Uh, and now I want to introduce Assemblymember Angelo Santa Barbara, who was one of the first real partners at the state level to step up and provide some access money uh, where we expanded into Crane Street in the Mount Pleasant neighborhood. And uh, we have some uh, greater details here as people have specific questions that we'll get into that uh, as we uh, go forward. But Angel, your investment was important for that neighborhood, especially during COVID. We were able to provide access supporting efforts in the school district. Again, that equity and access is really a uh, tremendous game changer for people's lives and making sure they have great value. And so thank you. For Thanks, Mayor. Thank you. Thanks, Mayor. I appreciate, uh, appreciate that bringing up. I grew up in Mount Pleasant. Uh, it was a special project for me uh, to be able to bring this technology uh, there and to see it deployed uh, and uh, to make it a reality. But uh, uh, Mayor McCarthy's been talking about this for years and years, and he's really put the city in a uh, position to be leading the way on smart city technology. And I, I love to talk about this up at the Capitol. I, I'm an engineer uh, by trade, so I, I love technology. I love uh, uh, th things that make people's lives easier uh, that uh, that we can embrace and, and it's happening right here before our very eyes uh, so I, when the mayor invited me to speak about this I I, uh, I was excited uh, to uh, to make that to help him make this announcement uh, it's great to talk about uh, these developments as they 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 happen here in Schenectady it really sets the standard uh, for other uh, other places in the state I think they're watching Schenectady and what we're doing next uh, this has the potential to revolutionize healthcare and improve our lives. It's really an amazing step forward. Uh, and I think the, uh, the benefits are all there, harnessing the power of that smart city technology to uh, enhance health out outcomes uh, and connect people. Uh, and we, we mentioned COVID and we talked about COVID, how difficult it was to access healthcare, but to have remote monitoring, to be able to use the smart city system uh, to improve health outcomes, that's very valuable. Uh, certainly through COVID, uh, we've all experienced it. And I think that uh, we all see the value in what's happening here. Uh, you know, we, you imagine where cutting edge technology like this seamlessly integrates into our lives. Uh, you think it's something that you would see out of a movie, uh, but it's really happening. Uh, you know, I, I can't help but think of my, you know, my, uh, my smart watch, you know, and all the things that it can do. Uh, this is taking it one step further uh, and it's, it's integrating this technology into our daily lives, uh, in, enabling us to monitor and manage healthcare 
proactively. That's very important. Uh, as I said, as a vision is becoming a reality uh, through smart cities, uh, and Mayor McCarthy really had that vision a long time ago and put us on that path. Uh, the investments that I provided from the state level were to help that vision along, uh, but really he had this. He had he had been talking about this for years and years, uh, and put us in a position to be able to uh, see the benefit benefits of it now. Uh, smart city technology and these innovations, this data driven technology, uh, to to keep people connected. Uh, but it's also important to talk about emergency response. Uh, this put, puts us in a position where emergency response becomes better. We're able to assist. It gives us the ability to enhance emergency services within the city. Uh, scenarios where residents, if they experience some type of health issue, uh, they can respond quicker. And I think that is really the true value in all this, uh, to be able to have emergency responders uh, help them do their job and help them get people quicker and ensure that if there's an emergency, they are responding to the right areas at the right time. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's all about saving lives. And I think that's what makes this uh, so very valuable. So uh, in closing, I just, again, I want to uh, commend Mayor, Mayor McCarthy uh, for the Smart City Project, the deployment. I hope to see more state funds coming to this project. Uh, and I, I, I think that we will see more of this across the state. Uh, but uh, everybody should take note that it started here in Schenectady. Uh, we didn't just uh, uh, go forward with the smart city uh, uh, technology, but we just keep taking it one step further. It seems like we're always making announcements to make things a little bit better. Uh, the expansions, uh, the expansions that were the, the expansion that we're announcing today, the partnerships uh, that Mayor McCarthy's been able to forge, uh, because this takes partnerships. You can't do it alone. It takes a lot of partnerships that he mentioned earlier, and there are a lot more to make this happen. Uh, by providing public internet and remote patient monitoring, we're not only mitigating uh, infections, supporting immune compromised residents, but also improving outcomes. That's the important part of this and reducing hospital readmissions. Uh, and again, I keep mentioning COVID, how important it is to have this in place before something like that happens. And that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, this innovative initiative is a true win-win. Uh, it saves lives, it drives economic benefits for patients and providers alike. Uh, through uh, the community information portal that uh, uh, the mayor mentioned, uh, we're connecting all Schenectadians and sharing essential health care, education, arts, government information, and so much more. We are truly building a brighter future for Schenectady, and we are, we are setting the standard, standard. I'm proud to represent this area in the State Assembly, and uh, I'm proud to have Mayor Gary McCarthy as, as a partner. Thank you all for... Uh,